Good afternoon. People in Berlin are still cleaning up from last week's flooding. It caused hundreds of thousands of dollars in damage. Now residents want to know what is being done to prevent another break of the High Line Canal. News 13's Allison Martinez sat down with officials to find out the next step. She's live at the Middle Rio Grande Conservancy District. Allison. Kim, the Highline Canal has been an issue for decades, but after having three breaks in under a year, the Conservancy says a solution is needed, and they might have one, but finding the money for it is another story. Damaging homes, farms, and businesses. And it just kept coming and coming and coming. Residents are ready for a permanent solution to the Highline Canal continually flooding. None of this would have happened if they would have fix that levy the correct way. Breaking for the third time in just eight months. Last Thursday's storm was the final straw for many as the cleanup has been extensive. This is the worst one. Neighbors we spoke with are blaming the Middle Rio Grand Conservancy District. However, the MRGCD says the blame should be put on Mother Nature. That's Mother Nature uh, creating a problem as much for us as anybody else. Costing a quarter of a million dollars to repair the canal each time it floods. The Conservancy District is studying the best solution to this problem. The biggest thing we can be helpful with is appropriating dollars to a project. The problem with the, the Berlin Highline Canal right now is that there isn't a project to to put money towards. The district started working on a permanent solution last September after a pecan farm was flooded. If we built a bunch of these smaller uh, stormwater retention facilities throughout the area, I think it would, it would um, alleviate a lot of the problems. For now, there are no immediate solutions for residents. I hate to say it, but it's kind of the luck of the draw in terms of where these storms hit. The Middle Rio Grande Conservancy District has spent $60,000 to study the Highline flooding problem. They hope to have a more detailed plan by the end of the month. Kim, back to you. Okay, thanks, Allison. Now, the bigger question is how to pay for it. The Conservancy District will ask for the state and federal government for help. Now, the next legislative session doesn't begin until January. They have not put a price tag on a fix. They just say it will be millions of dollars.